there's so many different requirements that people think a CPA needs to have, and they've got all of them, right? I mean, you've got the education requirement, you've got the experience requirement, you've got the ethics requirement, you've got the requirement for CPE and ongoing education, but really the one thing that needs to get added for CPAs is if you're gonna become a licensed CPA or if you are going to maintain your license, you should be required to have a positive net worth. If you're someone out there that's going out and saying, I'm a certified public accountant, but your finances are in shambles, I mean, how well does that speak? I mean, if you're gonna go out there and teach other people and, and work with other people and be a great service provider to help them manage their business and manage their finances, but you haven't figured out how to manage your own, how does that really make any sense? You know, I've had the privilege of speaking with over 5,800 accountants, uh, bookkeepers, tax preparers, uh, CPAs, EAs, and it's unbelievable the number of people that are broke that are licensed. And it's not a very good sign for the profession, it's not a very good sign for their clients because if you can't provide value to yourself, if you don't know how to organize your own finances yourself, how can you do it to somebody else? So look, while at, you know, at the end of the day, the most valuable and most important thing is providing value to the clients and you can do that if you're a CPA, if you're not a CPA. But as a CPA myself, I wanna propose a new change to the requirements to be a CPA. And that's that anyone who is a CPA who, who applies to get the license or wants to keep the license on an ongoing basis should certify that they have a positive net worth, which is where their assets are greater than their liabilities. And if you combine all of their personal uh, financials and all of their business financials, and they have a positive net worth. Otherwise, uh, they shouldn't be allowed to have the license or they should be they're forced to put it on hold until they can regain their own financial footing before they go out and start teaching other people about how to be better off financially.